Okay, you know what we're doing today? We're going to do a whole video. Then we're gonna go through the whole thing of one of the major projects we've been working on. So like, we're gonna go through, uh, what are the projects again? The Canva project, the... Should I just get started? Okay, hi everybody. This is uh, Sean and the boy. We are here today to do some really, really cool projects with everybody. The whole idea here is that we are going to use a combination of technology and junk to do magical things. In fact, we have this sort of belief between us that if you uh, have cool enough technology, it will be indistinguishable from magic. Today, we're going to focus on one specific project, which is the idea of a giant Harry Potter art wall. If you remember, uh, at Hogwarts in, I don't know which movie, there's like all these Harry Potter movies. Anyway, inside those Harry Potter movies, there's this wall, it's really cool. Uh, you see faces moving on them and stuff. Anyway, so the idea here is, is that we're gonna do a bunch of frames and we tried all sorts of ideas for this when we were thinking about how to do it. So could you buy screens and take apart laptops or could you use televisions for it? But ultimately, we only needed three things. We needed a really cool piece of technology called an augmented reality projector, called a light form projector, which does what's called projection mapping. And we're gonna show you how projection mapping works today. Number two is you need to know what a cinemagraph is, just basically a picture that moves. And we're going to show you how cinemagraphs work. And then you need junk from your local, either Facebook marketplace, or you get it from, where else do we go? Um, Value Village, remember that? When we went to Valley Village, yes, and got a bunch of old frames and put them all together and then glued them all on a wall and projection mapped art onto them. And we're gonna show you how to do that. The last thing that you need to accomplish this project is a 12 year old boy. That's all you actually really need in your whole life. What do you think, boy? You wanna, you wanna do it? You're very quiet. You're just sitting there. Okay, the first thing that you need for this project to be successful is a light form projector. This is actually where all the magic comes from. If you want to open that box. Uh, so, uh, as you, this, this is not an unboxing video, so this, let's, let's just start with that. So this, inside this projector, which is super cool, it's not a normal projector like anybody else's projector. There is a projector, and then there is a camera. Uh, and it has a whole computer on board, so it's, it's kind of museum quality. It's a really cool thing. Uh, you can sort of plug it in, get it to do stuff, and it will keep doing that for a very long time. Okay, so really one important thing about this is mounting this sucker, because once you've mounted this to project on your frames, uh, it's got to stay there. If it moves even a little bit, it's really irritating. So you can get this little stand here on the bottom of the projector is a little hole, which you can actually attach to this pretty little stand right here, or you can buy, which is a little bit more aggressive, call it. And then this will attach with all sorts of other standard attachments. So for example, you could put this uh, crazy attachment on it. And this will give you the ability to choose exactly how your projector is going to be mounted on a semi-permanent mount. Once you have the projector, I'm going to say plugged in, then we actually need to do some scanning. So the next thing we need is a laptop. So now that we've got our light form plugged in, we're going to use the light form software to do all of the magic. Uh, the first thing that the light form needs to do is first you need to connect it uh, to, the, to using Wi-Fi. Uh, once you've connected it, then you need to scan the environment. Once you've scanned the environment, then you can actually projection map on very specific areas. 
Uh, and that's why we have a 12-year-old boy to teach you how to do that. Kai, take it away. First, you want to press New Project. Then name your project. Then you want to select your projector. You want to press scan and then it calibrates and scans the area. You can click the pen tool in the top corner. Select the thing that you want to project on. And then press asset browser in the top left hand corner. Then you can then you can choose what you want to put in the selected area. Once it's done that, it will automatically fill in the gap. You can press publish to send it directly to your projector and it will start working. And there you have it. Flames above the stove. So now that we've figured out how to use the light form projector to map specific areas, uh, in fact, why don't you show how you could map multiple areas into a frame? It's just like the first one. You can just select the pen tool or any other tool. They all work. And just select the same thing and then press Asset Browser and then do the exact same thing for as many times as you want. And now we need some frames to project into. Uh, we found a bunch of places you can get frames really cheap. This one came off Facebook Marketplace for five bucks, five bucks, five bucks. Now a frame like this, what you have in it is you have the glass, which you want to remove, uh, but you also have the art and the matting. On the back, you usually have this paper stuff. I think this is to keep the art from, you know, getting wet or wrinkly, etc. I don't know really what it's for. So you just take a knife, you cut down the sides, you pull out the mat, you pull out all the junk, all the guts, you throw all of that away. So to put inside the frame, we experimented with all sorts of different things. This is like something I think we got off Amazon. It was completely useless. This was uh, like another one like that we used for projection. Again, too many wrinkles, didn't work. So in fact, we went and again to Value Village. I think we actually got it out of, I forget where. But we found these pro actual projection screens. You know, the ones that you pull down that you, you know, used to have in school. And then we cut them all up. And the trick was to get as many pieces of art out of that one projection screen. I will tell you, that was a terrible idea because in fact, as this picture shows, uh, it all ended up wrinkling. We, we spray glued it to the back of the cardboard that was inside the frame. And when the cardboard shrunk, they went all wrinkled, which meant we had to throw all of that out too. And we ended up using foam core, just beautiful foam core that you could get at the local art store for again, like five bucks. I think it was $8 for a five by whatever sheet. And this foam core worked absolutely gloriously. Uh, so I would recommend five bucks for the frame, five, six bucks for the foam core. And you have a beautiful frame. So at the end of this process, what you're looking for is a beautiful, simple frame like this. You'll see it's just the frame on the outside with some foam core in the middle and the cardboard stuff at the back or the foam core. And, and you'll see the frame all by itself. It can, you can kind of have any size. See, this is a foam core one, just very, very simple. You'll see that and you'll see here's another one. And this is like five bucks, like five bucks. You just as many as you want, as big as you want, as nice as you want. They just, they're easy to make. 
You can make frames, you can put them everywhere. It's great. So now that you have all of these frames, the last thing that you need, uh, let's see, we've got our augmented reality projection mapping projector, and then we've got bunch of frames that we've made. Now we need something to put inside the frames. So we can use video, we can use images, but what we really want to do to get that Harry Potter aesthetic is use Cinemagraphs. We're going to suggest you use Cinemagraph Pro. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Cinemagraph Pro. Take it away, Kai. So first thing you want to do is download a video or photo off the internet, or you can just take a picture and then send it to your computer. Then you want to click this plus. You can also drag the file to it. But then you want to go to your downloads and then search up whatever photo it is. Import it. And then using this, it's super easy to use. All of these things aren't moving right now. All you have to do is just highlight the areas with this tool. And then it will move them and all the other things will stay still. Then you want to press export and make it an animated GIF. Then press next. Then you just can just name it anything. Then you just want to export. Great job, boy. Uh, so, basically, there you go. You have it. That is what a cinemagraph is. It's sort of halfway between a picture and a movie. Kind of the way this works is you're moving certain parts of the image and you're turn it, making a movie that only some of the pieces move. Now, the fun part here, the really cool part, is, is that you have to start with a, with, a, with a video camera or a camera or an iPhone on a stand because you need to have parts of the image that don't move. Then you can have things like trees or people or bicycles or whatever it is move inside the video and loop and do that over and over again. So look, now we've got our cinemagraphs of videos, we've got our frames, and we've got our light form projector. Now let's put them all together on the wall. Now, now that we have all those pieces, uh, we, there's one last little special sauce that I'd like to add here, and that's the ability to change those pictures whenever you want to change them, all at the same time. And how we do this is the light form projector actually has different scenes, and you can use an app called Touch OSC, and you can actually flick through those screens so you can have any mood whenever you want it. Thanks everybody, hopefully you really enjoyed that project. Uh, listen, this is our very, very first YouTube video. We've got some really cool other projects that we've done as well, like um, the, Marauders map. the Marauders map. Yes, that you can tell where you are in the world. Uh, we've got the, uh, the magical chessboard. The magical chessboard. The magical floating candles. Listen, if you are interested in seeing more of our projects, please subscribe. Click that bell. Click, click that subscribe button, and we will do more videos just for you. Uh, listen, thank you very much, and we'll look forward to seeing you again with the next project. Thank you.